Police say there's no evidence of anyone else being involved in the so far unexplained death of the exiled Russian oligarch Boris Berezovsky. They've revealed that the radiation alarm of a paramedic was triggered after the 67-year-old's body was discovered in a bathroom at his Berkshire home. It led to a search for chemical, biological and nuclear material. Our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel reports. Even with no obvious signs of foul play, police took no chances. The paramedic first to Berezovsky's home triggered the alarm after his radiation detector, a dosimeter, went off. Overnight, the 67-year-old oligarch's estate near Ascot was scoured by those expert in chemical, biological and radioactive materials. It was only after the all clear that the forensic investigation into Berezovsky's unexplained death could begin. Details have now emerged about the circumstances. Berezovsky hadn't been seen since 10.30 on Friday night. His body was found just after three yesterday afternoon on the bathroom floor. The door had been locked from the inside. The security guard says he had to force it open. Police have begun to build a picture of the exiled tycoon's last few days, focusing, in the words of the senior detective, on Berezovsky's state of mind, an indication perhaps that this may have been suicide. Yet on Friday night, the faded businessman had given an interview to a journalist for the magazine Forbes Russia, in which he expressed hope of returning to his homeland. I had an idealistic view of how to build democracy in Russia, and I also had an idealistic view of what democracy is in the centre of Europe. I have underestimated the inertia of Russia and greatly overestimated the West. I should not have left Russia. True repentance or apologetic signals to Moscow and to Putin from a fallen kingmaker? That the only way out for him was basically to try to beg for forgiveness, come back to Russia and maybe find his place there. But it was, these were all actions of a desperate man, a broken man. Broken and virtually bankrupt. Last week he sold a valued Andy Warhol screen print, Red Lennon, but only for a tiny drop in his ocean of debt. His failed attempt to sue the owner of Chelsea Football Club, Roman Abramovich, left him with legal costs running into hundreds of millions of pounds. Not winning this case absolutely devastated him. He was, he was down, openly down. He didn't want to, to do anything. How would you recover from something like that? And that is one of the police lines of inquiry tonight, talking to family and friends. At this stage, there is no evidence to suggest foul play.